Hi guys, I am glad to be back. It's been a while since my last tutorial. I had uh, unfortunately uh, a lot of work, so I couldn't finish it right in time. Today we are coming back on the plane crash setup in the Fracture Modifier build. The fun thing about Fracture Modifier is that it almost gives you instant gold results. So first you need a good model. Don't worry about the geometry for now. When it's fractured, the geometry is no longer a major fault in your case. So I chose this model I found online on 3D CAD Browser. Uh, you will find the link in the description. And I just modified and affine and refine a little bit to get a, a frame all along the wing and the body part. When we fracture an object, we will see the inner part so it helps to keep your animation realist with a good amount of detail but it also helps when building the constraint after the fracture. Before fracturing or simulate something, always make sure your object is on its final shape. If the modeling is done or even if UVs are done. We need to create a quick animation for our plane to give it a push after the rigid body takes over. I'll go with about 10 frames, set the initial pose at the first frame and set the key by pressing I on keyboard and move it to the, ten, to the frame 10, rotate it or uh, it's, uh, it's uh, about you, about uh, what you want to do in your scene and press I again. Try to understand the weight and the damage the plane could have to drive your animation. Sometimes we can also take the very accurate physics part aside and go with a more artistic and dramatic animation regarding what you want. When your animation is ready, you can create a big plane, which will be our ground, add a rigid body physics layer to it. Don't worry about the settings for now. Usually I go into the settings, just some steps further to refine my animation, but for now, we're only setting up your, our scene. Now you can add a fracture physics layer on the airplane. Choose fast bisex in fracture algorithm. I found it uh, a very good ratio between fracturing time and the way the shards looks. Don't always go for Voronoi field fractures for the high cool geometry made of banded metal sheets. The fast bisect is just cutting the geometry. To keep our model close to realistic structure, you can drop down the advanced fracture settings menu and increase the value of rectangular alignment. What it's going to do is aligning and cutting with more rigid angled grid. Check the threaded box and click Execute Fracture. It can take a moment depending on your PC specs. Set the shards count to 256. Now the fracturing process is done, we can give a try to our anim animation. It looks like my model is not bending and resisting the way it should be, so we can set the search method to vertex instead of centroid. This way we constrain each shard to its neighbor by their common vertices only. If you don't set the search radius before changing the method like I did, it can take a while to process because it has to constrain too many vertices on each traverse in this large value radius. Set the search radius to a smaller value. It really depends on the size of your, of your scene. We want to constrain only the vertices that have the same coordinates. So we give a try. Now the plane is maintaining itself with a bit of jiggling, but we are in the right path. In just some parameters above, you'll find the distance value in constraint spatial breaking system. What we really tell the fracture modifier is if a constraint shard moves away, 
too much from its neighbor, then the constraint should break. Right under this parameter, there is a constraint before setting. I set the deforming angle to 5 and the deforming distance to 0 0.05, which means half of the breaking distance we just set. My shard should now keep their deformation above this specific value and above it, it should break. And now to make sure I get rid of the wiggling and jiggling effect, I will increase the step per second value to 128 and the solver iteration to 64. So it looks like now we need to decrease the deforming value. I'll go with 0.1 for the angle and 0.01 for the distance. I also need to adjust my distance breaking threshold. I'll try 0.02 and the constraint breaking threshold is decreased to the value of 1. Now we can see that, the, that when the plane hits the ground, the deformation stays. And in many cases, that's how steel works, how steels bend and how it behaves. After several settings, I figured out I needed to add a bit of variation to the ground. So just to make sure the plane takes enough shocks when hitting the ground, add a, a little displacement to the ground. Here I'm playing with different settings. I'm trying to find a good balance between dramatic animation and realistic behavior. So unfortunately, I don't think there is uh, another way besides trying again and again and again with different settings. Among others, I'm playing with the friction to get the plane curved by the interaction. Steps per second to get the right amount of jiggling effect. The breaking threshold to let some parts break uh, and separate from the plane. And finally, I'm playing also with my root animation with the keyframe I set up at the beginning. Here are my final settings. Keep in mind that uh, these settings are according to my scene and cannot be used in every case. It's always depending on several criteria, like the size of your scene and more. For the rest of the video, I fast forward the part when I'm doing the dirt emitted from the ground. I already did a tutorial about it, uh, about how making these effects, and I'll make sure to let the link in the description of this video. So this is it for the plane crash using the Blender Fracture Modifier build. You can find a link to download this special build of Blender in the description of the video. I hope it will help you with your VFX projects. Uh, if you want to share uh, some of your results, please leave your video link in a comment and uh, I would be very glad to watch it. As usual, if you have any questions, leave it in a comment and I will do my best to answer it. Bye!